Everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the SSTI 1 challenge. This is a web app challenge from the Pico CTF 2025 event. It is an easy level challenge in the web app hacking um, category. The description says, I made a cool website where you can announce whatever you want. Try it out. Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. So what we want to do is we want to click on the launch instance um, button over here, and that's going to start up the web app. Okay, so the, um, the website is running now, and there's a link. It says, check out my website here, and here's a link. We're going to put this in a new tab, and then we're going to take a look at the, uh, the website here. So what do we have on the website? So here it says, I built a cool website that lets you announce whatever you want. What do you want to announce? And they've got some, <laughs> they've got a, a little user tab over here. So how about hacker frogs rule? And let's do that. And it prints this out. It um, it reflects or it echoes out whatever user input we give to the application. This is a pretty this is a pretty big indicator that it, the application might be using some sort of templating engine, and it might be vulnerable to the SSTI vulnerability. Let's talk a little bit more about that now. So SSTI 1, this challenge involves the SSTI vulnerability. But what, what is this? So SSTI, which stands for Server-Side Template Injection, this is a web app vulnerability where the app uses a templating engine to create web page content. But if the app is coded insecurely, a user could inject malicious code into the app to interact with the templating engine to achieve remote code execution on the app. So this little symbol right here, this is a pretty common um, SSTI testing payload. And what we need to do is we need to get the application to try to do some mathematical um, operations for us. So a very common way to identify a potential SSTI vulnerability is when we find a web page which echoes back user output, sorry, echoes back user input. So we input hacker frogs rule and then it outputs hacker frogs rule like this. If we can ID such a web page, we can confirm the vulnerability by having the application perform math operations. So if we send a payload like this and it does the math for us, so it does seven times seven and we get the 49 back, this is, um, this is an indication that the application is vulnerable to server-side template injection. So let's go ahead and try this out. So back at the web page, here, we're going to go back, and then we're going to give this payload here. So the payload is a bunch of uh, <laughs> two sets of uh, curly braces, and in the middle, we're just going to put in a math equation. We could, do, we could do 10 plus 10, we could do 7 times 7, and we're just trying to get the, uh, the templating engine to do some math for us. Click on OK we get 20. So since the application did our math equation, we're pretty sure that we can get the, uh, the application to, to run code for us. So there are a bunch of um, different templating engines, and there's, um, there are a few different ways we can figure out which templating engine is being used. So let me do some quick research over here. So SSTI what is it called? A flowchart? So we can send different, we can send different uh, payloads to try to figure out if there, which templating engine is being used. So let's take a look at this, um, at this illustration here. So it says we start over here, we send this payload. So let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Let's Put this in a new tab. Make it bigger. Bigger. Okay. So we start with this payload here, five times five inside these brackets. If it passes, then we go over here. We try this payload here. If nothing happens, we try this payload here. 
If it passes, then we identify these uh, these different templating engines. So let's uh, let's try this. So the, the the templating engine being used is actually Jinja two. So let's go ahead and try the flowchart. So we've already tried the double brackets, the double squ um, squiggly braces. Then we're going to try this one over here. So this one over here is going to be five times five as a string. Let's go ahead and try this. So in the application here, inside the squiggly braces, we're going to do five times string five. And string five, we indicate by putting the, the five inside these, uh, these single quotes. Click on OK. And we get five, 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 five. So we, we do the string five times. So this means that uh, we're definitely dealing with the Jinja 2 engine. And if we're dealing with the Jinja 2 engine, there are a bunch of um, different payloads we can do to run code from the Jinja 2 engine. So let's type in Jinja 2 SSTI payload. OK, so let's see. Server-side template injection, server-side template injection. But uh, yeah, you can start you can start looking around for this stuff. Um, I'm, I'm I recorded a uh, a payload that works for me, and we recorded that over at uh, my GitHub over here. So let me go ahead and pull that up. So this one is SSTI one. Okay. So this confirms that the template engine being used is Jinja2. We can use the following payload to run in a system command using SSTI. So this is the command over here. And this is basically using the template engine or in order to, in order to, um, to run a system command. So this is, um, this is Python. So this is Python um, syntax. And we're just going to use the OS module in order to run the ls command. So the ls command is obviously going to output um, directory contents. We're going to feed this into the application now. Over here, we're going to go back. We're going to paste in our payload. If it works, we're going to get a list of files. So these are list, these are a list of files over here. Let's make this easier to read. Oh, what? Are we not able to take a look at, oh, wow, we're not able to look at the, uh, the source code. But we do get the, uh, the files over here. So we got this file here, pycache, uh, app.py. We've got uh, flag, and we have got requirements.txt. So if we wanted to use the same command to read the flag, all we need to do is replace ls in the command with cat flag. So this is a, um, a Linux command to read the flag. Click on OK. And we got the flag. What does the flag say? The flag says PicoCTF server side template injections are cool. They sure are. OK, let's go ahead and copy the flag. And let's solve the challenge. So go back to the challenge. And in the submission field, paste in the flag, click on submit flag, and you're done. Okay, everybody, this was a guided walk for, walkthrough for the SSTI 1 challenge from PicoCTF 2025. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.